Okay, I want to play something here. Are we, are, are, am I good to do this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I don't know how many of you watched LeBron this weekend. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, you didn't watch it? No, I did. Yeah. Good. You guys should all watch this dude. He comes out, he says, hey, look, I'm playing the entire game. First half, he did not sit down the entire first half. Uh, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have this video though. Damn it. Um, let me see. Maybe I have it here. Yeah, I might have it here. Okay. So I just want to ask you guys, what do your teammates say about you? I think what I, I've always been impressed with what he does on the court and in the games and the big moments and all those things, but how he leads and how he works every day. Um, just as an example, what he sets and the, the tone that he sets. Uh, if you show up. So, so I'll just tell you, the sound's not good. Nobody's helping me on the sound over there, so. I'll tell you what he said, okay? LeBron shows up. This dude comes in 15 minutes before practice, and LeBron gives him that look like, hey, dude, what, what's going on here? He's like, what do you mean I'm 15 minutes early? He's like, should have been here an hour ago. And, and, and when he says that to this dude, the guy knows LeBron's been there for two hours. So all I, all I ask you to do, like here's a guy, probably the best that's ever walked out on a basketball court, short of Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but both of them had one thing in common, they worked, okay? It wasn't about their, just their talent, it was about their work ethic. People knew them for their work ethic. So just ask yourself this week, do people know you for your work ethic? Are people, are people like, man, you work hard? Are people actually commenting about you showing up early and staying late? Because if they're not, then you're just, you're just blending in with everybody else's work ethic. At the end of the day, talent will not win the game. It is work ethic that will win the game. So when I saw this, I'm like, here's a guy, top of his game, he's got all the money you could possibly, he could never spend all his money. Impossible. He'll be a billionaire. Okay? And he's showing up two hours early to make sure he plays the game, to make sure he's in physical condition, to make sure that he can stay in the game long past it. He doesn't even need it. He's got all his rings. I got to tell you, I, got, I, I was so inspired by it because I got a bunch of partners. I got guys that I do business with. I got one of them in particular that I'm having some problems with. He told me, man, if I had your money, dude, I would retire. He said it to me over and over, and I hadn't been listening to it enough to, to understand he wants to go lay down. Okay, you cannot run. What's that thing called you did? Iron. You can't do an Ironman with that attitude. Nope. Don't know why you'd want to do an Ironman. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, if you could do an Ironman and then take that and add it to your to your to your career, to the, the, the longevity of your career, you know, because look, it's going to be five years from now, 10 years from now. It's going to be 20 years. You're going to look back and say, and the marketplace is going to reward whatever you do every day. Mm -hmm. So. Good enough for, Le for LeBron, it ought to be good enough for us. All right, how do we answer the phones here? Well, hey, great day, Grant Cardone's office. What can I get you information on? Visa or MasterCard, let's have a great day. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. LeBron, LeBron, you inspire me, dude. You inspire me, man. You guys that throw down every day long after you don't, long after you need to, you got your rings, you got your money, you got your trophies, and you're still throwing down? Oh my God. Okay? Oh my God, you guys are the ones that inspire me. You know, like The Rock. Who else? Who else I got that inspires me? Jean Legere, okay? Who, who inspires me, man? Uh, the guys at Sprint and T-Mobile, man. Marcelo, you're at Sprint. You're freaking, you're putting it together with T-Mobile. That inspires me. The Rock inspires me. People that just keep showing up, keep pumping, keep pushing. Like, you guys that are showing up early and you don't need to anymore, freaking just jacks me up so hard. Now the rest of you bums, <laughs> the rest of you guys are like, oh, I got my little piece of cheese, I'm good, I'm all this, and you can't show up anymore because you're so successful, it will be taken away from you. I guarantee you, somebody, somebody's gonna take it away from you if you go into the beach too much, or if you're trying to figure out how to get enough to get out, you're gonna get hammered. Do people know you for your work ethic or not? Because if they don't know you for your work ethic, okay, that means you don't work.